Oh, can you tell me? Can you tell me exactly how it works? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the newest episode. I'm gonna call them episode because they're basically episode or part of the story, I guess. Um, where did we leave off, though? Hold up. This one, I guess, January 3rd. Thursday. Where was I? Um... What happened to last night? She told us the truth, huh? Yeah, she told us everything. Not everything, but she said she told us the most part of what happened between her and her father. And right now, Richie's just like, What do I do to fix this? Like, what do we do from now on? Like, do we confront your dad? Do we tell on your dad? So we're, that's what we're left in leaving off to right now. Where Jesus is like, what the fuck do we do now? Now that you told me all this, what do we do? So yeah, start. I'm awake. Oh my gosh, it's Valentine's in this world. Oh god, Richie does not have something ready, does he? Good, happy Valentine's Day. There's a tray of homemade chocolate storm. Oh, Natsuki, you're so cute. Yeah. Th thanks, Natsuki. The chocolates all have different shapes, as if they were made with unique and uniqueness in mind. Pick one up and take a bite, experiencing one of the best chocolates I've ever eaten in a long time. Wow, this taste is great. Nice job. Y yeah, I tried. Natsuki tries gathering her courage to say something. What are you gonna say? So, um... Yeah... Since it's Valentine's Day, shouldn't we, uh... Go on a date or something, too? She wants to go on a date? Okay, okay, okay. Sure, I don't see why not. Duh! That's as far as I got, actually. Where should we go? <laughs> That's right. That's a good question. We sit there for a few moments, having no idea where to go from here. You know that place we go to... Wait, you know that place we go to on the picnic sometimes? There's a lake near there. That would be a nice place to relax at. Yeah, yeah, I know where you're... T I know where you're... I know where you're talking about, too. Um, I'll be waiting then, I guess. Valentine's Day already? Damn, so it's been months! We spend the rest of the day normally until nighttime, at which point, at which point, it's time to go. Well, I'm finished getting ready. What about you, Natsuki? I'm ready. Are we gonna get going or what? Yeah, let's go. Makai? Damn, why are we here at night? That's kind of weird. Actually, no. So, man, look at that moon in the distance, though. Damn. Now, Suki and I walk out the door and meet the cold air in the night, along with light breezes complimenting it. From there, we head to the place I have in mind. Once we get there, we realize that maybe my idea for a date location that came up with the no spot wasn't so bad after all. The water is gorgeous. The moon shines down at the lake, giving an amazing amount of light considering what time it is. We both sit down on the edge, arms wrapped around each other, as we stare into the moonlight. Man, this place is beautiful. Not as beautiful- <laughs> I have the thing, I was thinking the same shit! Exactly the same shit! Not as beautiful as you, of course. Natsuki looks disappointed. Aw, oh, damn it! <laughs> You're just looking for cheesy stuff to say! To be fair, she's not entirely wrong. Yep. God damn it, mean freaking MC are more alike than I thought. Yeah, but that doesn't stop it from being true, does it? Well, I accept that as a compliment. Just because I complain doesn't mean those aren't are my only feelings. You already know that. It wasn't a serious complaint anyway. As so he goes back to a small smile, which I take, which I'll take. It's pretty cold though. As so he puts her arms on her. It puts her arms around me instead of only one. Oh yeah. yeah! Yeah, sorry about that. I should have brought a blanket or picked an earlier time. Guess there's not much we could do about it now. I 
Yes, you'll have to warm me up as punishment. Oh. Look at that tail poking out of her tooth. I don't know why I'm being so cuted out by her right now. What the hell? Was I being cute? I'm cool too, Natsuki. You're not the only. You're not going to get warm. Wait, much warmer with what you're doing. Yeah. You're just looking for excuse to hug me. N no, no, I'm not. I grin. Whatever you say, Natsuki. We like this for a couple minutes until I bring up something I remembered. Hey, Natsuki. What is it? I'm trying to concentrate, concentrate on warming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you're doing, yeah. Yeah, sure. Anyway, those chocolates you baked were pretty good. You got me thinking, though. Remember that time when we first went grocery shopping? It's been a long time since then, Richard. You don't have to think about our previous dates when I'm right here. <gasps> so it was a date. Aye, hey, it was a date then. I know, but I was thinking about why we went shopping. For food, probably. I think that's why people go to gro- Wait, for food, probably. I think that's why people go to grocery stores. I believe we bought cupcake supplies, though. When I asked you what or who they were for, were for, you said, I'll find out soon enough. But I don't think I ever found out what they were for. Oh, that. That's like he sounds embarrassed. Didn't you already figure it out? I thought it was obvious. Yes, it was. Are you trying to get me to call you an idiot on purpose or something? <laughs> you already know I usually don't mean it. I don't get what's so... Attractive about saying it? Hey, 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 hey. Say dumb. Yeah, that's perfect. Wait, usually. I generally don't know. I don't like jumping to conclusions like that. You're going to make me say it, aren't you? Yup. They're for me. It makes you happy. I was going to make them for you, idiot. Say dumb. Uh. Okay, in hindsight, I should have figured that out a long time ago. Yep. I never got them, then. You already forgot. The whole terrible home life kind of ruins your desire to do, <laughs> to do anything for anyone thing. God, I'm dumb. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. Yeah, yeah, I'm used to it at this point. I used to say what... Say that you said weird stuff sometimes. But I'm starting to think you're weird in general. Hey, hey, hey. Not wrong. What that's supposed to mean? As I said before, it's not a bad thing. So he quits hugging me and looks at the lake again. At least your taste in date location is okay. Hey. Well, I've been able to get some practice after all. Richard? Yeah? I wonder what life would have been like if I never met you. Oh shit. No, how would it be? You'd still be at your house, huh? Actually, I don't want to think about that life would have been like if I never found you. I know it'd be bad, though. But in a perspective, that's what he's right. If she never met me, she wouldn't have any place to stay after her dad hit her. And I don't think. And I don't want to think about what life after that would have been like either. Would she have had the courage to ask any other club members for a place to stay? Maybe Sayori. Yeah, I think Sayori would have let her in. I don't think it matters now anyway. I'm so glad I'm dating you. Would it be annoying if I said that for the thousandth time? Maybe it would be, but it wouldn't change anything. I still don't get why you're dating me. What? But I can't deny that I had a good time dating you too. Oh, she said that. A great time, even. Whatever makes you feel better or something. Ayy. I think it's kind of cute how you add or something, or I guess, whenever you say something nice to me. Well, you know what? What are you gonna say, huh? What are you gonna say? Man, <laughs> even Natsuki doesn't have a comeback for that. Yep. Oh, shit. 
Oh, she likes her lows, and there's options. Ask her about her favorite. Ask her. Ask about her favorite day. Ask how she's doing. Don't say anything. Well, she said she doesn't really like going back to the past. That's how she's doing. Don't say anything. That's the best thing to do right there. Yeah, you know what? That's a bit no. That's how she's doing. How are you doing, Atsuki? Like in general. With your boyfriend, I need to make sure that you're okay and all that. I'm fine, I guess. I've been stressed sometimes for obvious reasons, but it isn't so bad when you're there. Glad I could help. I'll do anything to make you feel better. Thanks, Richard. I'm glad we're dating. Like, I've liked you from the start. As weird as that is for me to admit. Hey. I know and I said that before, but it didn't really sink in until now. And so the night continues like this until I check my phone and realize how late it's gotten. Like 10. I hate to say this, but we should get, get back home now. Miski stares into my eyes. Do we have to? Come on! Say no! I stare back. We can stay for a little longer, I guess. Okay, this is getting really romantic. We're not going to be interrupted, are we? Please don't tell me we're about to get interrupted. Where's that Sayori? Where's that? Where's that Monica? Where's Yuri? You know what? Screw even bringing that up. I'm going to enjoy the moment and nobody's going to stop me. Where's Sayori? Alright, Natsuki's still here. Good. It can always make time for us to be together, you know? Yeah, that makes me happy. Please, please, the multiverse, everything in this world, someone do not appear. I love you so much, Natsuki. Ah. So do I, Richard. She starts leaning in. Our faces are so close. Please, for the love of fucking God, please, someone don't appear. Come on. Come on. Could this be? She suddenly stops leaning in. No! <gasps> How many times have you kissed, by the way? None. At the moment, not even once. Damn. Damn. You? It's the same here. Perfection. Absolute perfection. Golden Ramsey will like this meal any day. I've been watching Golden Ramsey a lot. Our faces are even closer now. That's who blushes. Would you like to change the- <laughs> My heart! Would you like to change that? I don't see why not. Someone, I swear to fucking god, I will edit the game and murder whoever pops up. Eventually our faces can't get any closer. Suddenly we're kissing. Nobody to interrupt this. Nothing to break us down. Finally! Yeah, man, does it feel good. I keep thinking the moment's going to be ruined by something, but it never does. All that happens is pure bliss. Yes, finally! Once we're done, we both have a look of shock on our face. Did we actually? Don't jump back. I think so. Okay, I'm just checking. We should do this more often. <laughs> I liked it. Nasuki seems like she's trying to stop blushing, but can't do it. I agree. I admit, I had a bit of trouble figuring out what to say, but whatever. My first kiss was great, though. I think it was a good day overall. No money spent. It's like, I don't care. More time passed. Much, much more time. How much more time? Wake up! You know what day it is, do you? Struggle to sit up. Still not fully awake. I think. So you have no idea then? <laughs> yep. So you have no idea then? I didn't say that. It is true though. I will give you that. <laughs> I'm not surprised you forget seeing as you were never good at remembering, but luckily for you, I am. I still don't, I still don't know what today is. It's been half a year since we first 
It's been half a year. Oh my god. Since we first started dating. Hold up. Wasn't it three months ago when they first she moved in? And then literally like a month later we started actually dating like the same work together. Then we skip a whole half a year later? Six months? She's been with me for almost a year now. I raise an eyebrow. Already? Yeah, already? Yep, doesn't it doesn't feel like it's been this long though. Same here. Hmm. So like it's actually been six months, right? Yeah. I know you're probably shocked that you had a girlfriend for more than a week. <laughs> oh fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> but you know I'd never leave you. I'm guessing we should celebrate later tonight then. You're getting better at this. It took you long enough. I try. You do. Very funny, Natsuki. I think of the details later, but I'm tired. You're always tired. We have to get to school anyway. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so what do we did not talk to the other club members? It would be redundant if I said school was boring as usual, so I won't. We did, of course, go to the literature club, though. As we walk in while holding hands, Sarah greets us. Say alright! You two look happy today. They always look happy, Sayori. Not saying that's a bad thing. Well, it's been half a year since we started dating, so... Yuri picks up- Oh shit, what is Yuri gonna do? No, Yuri, don't do nothing bad, please. Yuri picks up from a book and she's reading. Con congratulations Ah, uh, it's no big deal. I say looks disappointed in me. Shit! Why would you say that in front of her? I think it's a big deal. The fact that Richard... God fucking just stop roasting me! The fact that Richard had a girlfriend for longer than a week is impressive. Yes, Natsuki. You made that joke at home too. That was a joke? Anyway, anyway, I think that's pretty cool. Congrats on the both of you. I remember when you two first met. I saw this coming, to be honest. No shit! You were in the last game. You knew I always won for Natsuki. Did you, Monica? I didn't think it was that obvious we had feelings for each other at the time. It, it was obvious. Oh, goddammit. Uh huh? Anyway, you're going to read some manga now. Anyway, we're going to read some manga now. I see, have fun. So there's like no conflicts anymore? Once all was said and done, Nasuki and I head back home on our way back to my on the way back on the way back by my house. I see a silhouette of a tall figure dart across the bushes. Oh shit. At least it tries to dart across the bushes, but once it realizes our eyes are on it, it stops. Walks a little bit forward, enough for us to see who it is. Natsuki's dad. Are we actually gonna see him? I've seen him multiple times before, while well, I was in Natsuki, and he never interacted with us much. She would glare at him, and that seemed to get her thoughts across just fine. This time, though, I noticed something about his hand. He was clenching his fist, which wasn't a fast. A Fantastic sign, I know. It was quite a terrible sign actually, but I don't feel I don't feel that speaks for itself. I'm kinda of panicking at this moment. Look front him, run away. So is he gonna punch me? Am I about to be killed or something? Oh, what is this? What is this? I'm about to be murdered, basically. That's what's gonna happen. I, should I confront him? If I confront him and he knows that I'm manly enough to confront him, would he be like, I respect you to be my daughter? Or if I run away, he's gonna be like, he's not worthy. Fuck!
I'm gonna confront him. Hope I don't regret this. I can't run away from this forever. Hey, you. What are you doing? Didn't matter, though, because he runs away anyway. You're not going to get go f go after him, are you? I don't think there's any point in chasing him. It's clear he doesn't want to talk. Which is nice, since it benefits my health in the sense that I don't get killed. Yeah. This is the fucking... I hate that fucking thing. This start like this. Don't ever show that other house. Uh oh, may I as well head home? Well, may I as well head home. I walk through the front door and take a deep breath and sit on the living room couch. Did your damn, did your dad seem a bit uh angry? That's a word for it. Yeah. I'm not really sure what to do about this. I doubt he actually, I doubt he's actually going to murder you or anything, Richard. Oh, what? But that doesn't help. I know, but but nothing. Well, the situation is a bit tense right now. Besides, it's a special day. Shouldn't we? Shouldn't you take me out? Take me out on a date? Since that's the point of dating and all. Of course. Should we get something to eat? If it's a place that doesn't rip you off, like. The, the one time that like that one time oh, okay fast food it is McDonald's actually is McDonald's even a, I don't know for most people going to a fast food restaurant wouldn't be romantic sorry scratch that for basically anyone going to a fast food restaurant wouldn't be romantic luckily Natsuki wasn't just anyone damn McDonald's it is it McDonald's that's McDonald's look at that Big Mac right there a large... That looks more like Carl's, actually. Where are Carl's? That's a hybrid. That's a, like... Look at the, the background. kind of looks like a... Um, Jack in a Box looking theme. It is this Jack in a Box thing. Well, we're here. You walk into the restaurant. There's a certain modern atmosphere in it. Although it doesn't necessarily mask the fact that this is a fast food place and the fact that we're going on a date at a fast food place. Once we order our food, we sit down next to each other at an empty table. You know, this place is a bit weird for a date, but we've gone here before, haven't we? Yeah, I don't think you have to be worried, Richard. I'd rather be somewhere comfortable than somewhere super romantic, and this place is more comfortable like, than somewhere super romantic. And this place is comfortable for me, so... We eventually receive our food as Asuki unwraps her hamburger. I notice that she seems unsure about something. Everything alright? There's something... There's something I've been waiting, wanting to try. I, I keep her head on the gutter, Richard. What do you think? Let me see. What is it? Well, well, something I want to try. Put a sugar on a burger? Hmm? So I have to drink some water. Who gets water? I got a soda. Dr. Pepper, Sprite, Coke. Um... Spit out your water, you're drinking. Spit out your water, you're drinking. Spit out your water, you're drinking. L would you feed- Oh yeah, what? <laughs> Would you feed me? Spit out your water, you're drinking. <laughs> not, not Suki? I'm just curious, okay? I've seen so many other couples do it, and... Let me get this straight. You want me to feed you. Don't make me say it again. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't at the least bit curious about what it was, what it was like, too. Sh sure, I guess. I get up and walk over to the utensil center to grab a fork, and then sit back and then sit sit back down in my chair. So that's okay. We're really doing this. Like I said, it's one of those things you have to do at least once. Hold up! Wait a minute. That could be used for another thing. That Richie might want. Like I said, it's more than one of those things. You have to try at least one. Oh my god, this can be said back in another manner. According to who? Alright, so... Then I take the fork and stick it in the hamburger, right? I guess, wait. You eat hamburgers with a fork? It's a lifestyle, Natsuki. 
Wait, who eats a hamburger? What the fuck? What the fuck? Am I Gordon Ramsay? Anyway, next you open your mouth. Actually, I changed my mind. What? This is so too embarrassing. Asuki, we're in a fast food restaurant. Not a single person is going to judge. Yeah, that's true. Sure, feeding someone a hamburger isn't how it's usually done if we want to be romantic. Actually, nobody does that. Now that I think about it, it wouldn't be weird for someone to judge us. Still, I had to get up and grab a fork. You don't want to waste the 10 seconds I spend to get a fork, do you? I think I'm... I think what I'm saying is very convincing, personally. Fine. That's right. That's like you open... Nasuki opens her mouth as I put the fork in into it. She bites down and quickly chews, filled with embarrassment. Well, she swells and tries to think of something to respond with. That was a thing. Yep, that definitely a thing. That was definitely a thing. What do you mean a thing? Like, usually if someone says that's a thing, it's usually because that's a thing that it's not so key like being fed like a girl. I'm glad we could both agree on that. Can we also agree never do that again? At least not in a fast food restaurant. Wait, so she wants me to do it again. Sure, because I wasn't going to do it again anyway. N not for now, at least. She does like it. She does like it. Okay. Yeah. That was weird. And so we finish our food and leave the restaurant. Restaurant, not restaurant. Once we head home, things go back to normal. Not things seemed like they went back to normal. I mean that we didn't even think about Natsuki's dad once. Rather, we thought about it, but didn't want to admit it. It had been on our minds. The rest of the night goes as well. Though. There's no other drama, at least tomorrow though. I doubt I'll be as peaceful as I'm hoping for it. I don't know why, but it feels like something's about to happen. Fucking Richard with his sixth sense, spider sense is telling him, Oi. God damn it, man. Oh, flashback time. Alright. I'm tired of this. Not now, Natsuki. Not now. If not now, then when? How much longer is this going to be put off? I'm serious, we'll discuss this later. Like I said, you keep saying we'll talk about it later, but nothing ever actually happens. I don't want to keep living like this. And I don't think you do either. Go to your room, Natsuki. We'll discuss this later, and that's final. No, we have to do something. Part of the reason I'm doing this is because I still care about you. You don't know what I'll give for... Whoa, 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 that was strange. That thing just blacked out. Why did it do that? Trying to scare me? You don't know what it... You don't know what I'll give for things go back to nor to the way they used to be. But it's not that easy. None of this is. Do you under understand, Atsuki? I understand, but it doesn't change anything. I asked you to leave. How many times do I have to say it? Leave. I won't. Leave. We have to settle this. Leave. Never. Leave. How do I do a loud no? No. Not until you at least try to change. Not until we live a better life. You will never get it. No, you're the one who doesn't get it. You never got it. Enough! Natsuki! Did he hit her? Did he hit her? Did he hit her? Oh my dear. Isituku. Itsuku. You have no idea how much I wish you were still with us. Is that her mom's name? Isuko? I just don't know what to do. Wait. Hold up! This is my house! Oh, it's, it's, it's okay, and exit music it's not, but and this is my house, and he's in here! I freeze in place. It's him. 
It was the night after mine, and at Suki's anniversary, we had gone to bed, and I was about to join her, when I heard a knock on the door. So I went, I went to open it up, and there he was. I was face to face with Asuki's dad, and by myself this time. As, as I was saying, back to where I left off. I just don't know what to do. Uh, hi, um, what do I even do here? You see, well, he plops onto the couch in the living room. I hope you don't mind. Well, it's not like I can't do anything about it anyway. What are you here for? You, you looked kind of upset yesterday. Hmm? All that. Sorry about running away when you tried speaking to me. But I didn't feel like discussing anything at the time. I was upset after all. What happened yesterday is, is unrelated to what I need to ask you, though. From my understanding, Natsuki's been living with you, correct? I, yes? For half, for half a year, then. A pain expression rests on his face. I'm not here to criticize you, or tell you to live your own life. It seems I lost the right to give any to give advice for my own daughter's life. I wanted to see things for myself, though. You hear a knock? I hear the door to to my room open. Richard, who's there? I don't recognize that voice. I think I recognize that voice. It's nobody, Natsuki. That was the worst lie I could have come up with. The absolute worst lie possible. It's clear I wasn't on top of my game right now. I'm talking to your boyfriend. As soon as Natsuki hears that, she slams the door shut. That's problem solved, I guess. Uh, what am I saying? I'm panicked to no end. What was probably the worst solution in history? We're actually going to talk about this right here. Aren't there better places to talk about this? It's not going to change anything at this point. I sigh and ask another question. You see Natsuki and I go on dates multiple times. How come you never did anything other than ask me once? The question once. It looks off to the side. I guess I accepted it early on. My daughter didn't want to live with me anymore. She cut ties. It pains me to realize that. But what am I supposed to do? You and I both know she wouldn't come back to me. Certainly, if not, I approached you two in the middle of something. I was stuck. Done. She's gone. I feel, I feel slightly more comfortable about speaking to him at this point. Particularly because he wasn't going to murder me. That's a positive. Not totally comfortable, but that made it a little better. It sums it up, yeah? What a shame. Unlike what I expected, he doesn't want... He doesn't have a hint of anger in his voice, only regret. You seem rather calm about this, all this. Of course, like I said, I accepted it. There's nobody to be angry at this except myself. I know this is all my fault. I know I've made the biggest mistake of my life. I already hated myself before all this happened. But ever since Sansuki left, I've been worse. I loathed myself more each day wondering how could how could I how could I have lost my temper like that wondering how I could have broken a promise I made to my own wife to hit Natsuki so he did hit Natsuki but I doubt you want to hear about that and I understand I know you must think I'm a terrible excuse of a parent I'm not going to gain any sympathy from you Good, because I wasn't going to give him any. But at least, I finally have feel brave enough to talk a bit more. Acknowledging your awful, acknowledging your awful actions doesn't excuse them from being awful. I doubt I had gone too far for that, but Natsuki's dad takes a deep breath and speaks again, as surprisingly calm as ever. I'm aware. There is no redeeming myself for what I did. Believe me, I'm not trying to deny that. I'm just trying to think about what to do next. He pauses again, this time for even longer. Nasuki probably told you about me destiny destiny myself from everyone. Didn't she? Dist Distanine. She did. 
Yes, I thought I lost my wife. I noticed that Terry rolled down his cheek. Oh my god! He stops yet again. I'm sorry, just. After I lost my wife, I became a recluse. I tried to provide for Natsuki, but I, I didn't. But I didn't provide nearly enough. Even with our financial situation, there's still so much more I could have done. I could have cared for her so much more. Oh my god, he sounds like me after a fucking exit music. There's no reason she's. There's a reason she's so skinny, you know. I digress. The point is, nobody should have been raised by a parent like myself. Nobody should have been raised by someone who won't give it all, won't give full attention to their kid. And that turtle's down his cheek, then another, and another. Then they don't stop coming. Such a horrible situation. Now that I lost everything. After Natsuki was born, if I, if I told my past self that I would eventually do that to her, I don't think I would have been able to take it. But that's selfish too, isn't it? I wanted to be there for my daughter, no matter what. But I couldn't do that. There's no excuse. He's sobbing at this point, his face buried in his hands. Wow. I... I'm sorry for dragging you into this. It's entirely unacceptable for me to barge into your house like this. Like many things, I wish I could take it back. But I needed someone to vent to. We sit there, unsure what to say next. After several moments of silence, he speaks up again. I lived for Natsuki, you know. I fucking knew it. No! Even after my wife was gone, things kept getting worse. I lost my job at some point. I don't think I'll ever I don't think I ever told Natsuki that. But I wouldn't be shocked if she figured it out. I barely managed to get any money, period. But that's another story. Natsuki was all I had left. Living the way I could I what did was torture. It was absolute it absolutely does not excuse my behavior, but simply getting out of bed was seemingly impossible challenge sometimes. The main reason I was so strict towards her was because I didn't want her to experience the life I was living. Even my strictness was misguided though. I said it more than enough times, but my life was terrible, but at least I still have my daughter. We argue a lot though. A lot of times, it was about my failure as a parent. I took things too personally. I should have taken anything personally in the first place. She was my daughter, and she was right. One time I disappointed in myself. One time I was disappointed in myself, frustrated, upset, defeated, and ultimately regretful. I should have left the room right there, but I kept talking. I kept deflecting. Looking back, everything I said during that conversation is a joke. I kept thinking I wasn't even mad at her. I wasn't even mad at myself, and I didn't want to admit it. Leaving itself was painful. I couldn't take it anymore. So I did something I agree I would never do at any point in my life as a parent. I hit her. And that's when I lost her too. I was left with truly nothing. He takes some more time to collect his thoughts. I don't go outside much, but during the times I did, I would often spot you and her together. I'm not mad at you, to clarify. She, des she deserves someone better than me anyway. As I was saying, I kept watching you two, thinking about what could have been, thinking about how I could have prevented this. For much of my life, I blamed everyone else, yet, I wouldn't blame the person that was actually responsible for this any, any of this. I didn't blame myself until I was too late. To think. I want to think more about this. I want to re react somehow. But the thoughts were going through my mind so fast that I... That I'm having to push them away entirely. All I could do for now is listen. I think 
It's meant to be this way, though. I'm frankly glad that it's this way. As I said, Suki deserves doesn't deserve me. She doesn't deserve to live the way she did in my house. I still don't know nothing about you. I don't even know your name. But what? whenever you and Asuki were together, she looked so happy. And that's all I ever wanted. I keep searching for your words and can't find them. Again, I'm sorry to put you through this. This is my responsibility and mine alone. Finally, I bring myself to say something. What do you plan on doing then? That's a good question. I don't want to take my own life at this point. Not because I feel any actions are justified. They're absolutely not, but because I feel so defeated that I can't even bring myself to do that. At least, only is one option left. I, I think I know what he's getting at. As you might be able to guess, I plan to turn myself in to the police. Not that that matters. I'm going to get out of your life as quickly as I entered it. He turns himself into police station. Police? Is this really where he where it ends? I need to think hard about this one. Obviously, he's a terrible parent, and not exactly a great person either. But I do wonder. If he always, if you, if, if he was always like this, if things went downhill after his wife passed, what about, what about before that? Although Natsuki was probably too young at the time before all that happened, she described what he, what her dad was like then. It was worth it to trying to bring out, to bring him back to what he used to possibly be. Natsuki did say he still cares for him. Actually. Has he tried family counseling? I don't think he ever brought it up, and Asuki never mentioned it either. I'll, I'll always be there, so I guess it's not likely they'll be alone. Asuki doesn't have to stop living with me unless she wants to. At the very least, I don't think the violent incident will happen again. Asuki's dad is so much different than I expected him to be. Yeah, I expected him to be like a brute guy who's about to kick down my door and kill me. His calm demeanor is the opposite of how I thought he'll behave, and that obviously doesn't clear him to what he did, but I find it interesting. I've never seen someone as lost in life as he is, which is which is more worth it. Trying to work forward a better life, or basically leaving in the one we already have. I'll admit it. I'll admit that I'm not even close to being an expert on this. However, I want the happiest ending we can get out of this situation. Maybe it won't actually be that happy, but I want to make a decision that I think will lead us to a brighter, brightest future. I'll give my advice on what I think the solution will be best for all of us to end. Try reaching out one last time, turn yourself in. Oh no. Dude, I can't turn up. Why would I tell him to turn himself in? He's not a bad guy. He might have hit her once. That's because he was so depressed and angry and he couldn't didn't know what to think at the time. I feel like he needs to try reaching out. Nasuki's dad was Nasuki dad. Nasuki's dad has made mistakes, awfully irredeemable mistakes. But both Natsuki and her dad care for each other. I don't want this to end. Their dad turned himself in. I think we can do better than that. I still believe it's possibly it's possible to recover. I still believe that giving him a second chance could work. And if it doesn't, oh well. At least we can say that we tried. Suki da Natsuki's dad. As a broken man, a man shattered into thousands of pieces, but something that is broken can also be repaired. I don't want this to end with her dad giving up. I think we could do better than that. I still believe it's possible to turn us around. I still believe it's not all over. If things don't work out, oh well, 
sometimes that just happens. Suki's dad will never be able to fix everything that he did wrong. We don't need to fix everything. We need to fix enough. And that much is possible. I don't want this to be the end knowing that we could have been so much more. That this could have been so much more. I think we could do better than that. I still believe we haven't lost everything. I still believe we have a chance to gain. And if we don't gain anything, oh well, we aren't going to lose anything either. I can work with Natsuki and her dad. And they can work with the therapist. We can all work together to get their best to get their lives back. I'm a regular person. I can't force anything to happen. I can't force things to get better. I can't have all the answers. But if there's one thing I'm sure of, it's that we can make this work. And if we don't at least try, I think that's the real shame. You need to try to reconnect him with Atsuki. Natsuki dad looks shocked. I'm surprised if I were in that situation too. Why? There's no way she'll like me. Let me back into her life. I don't know. She might be scared of you. And the idea of changing how she lives right now might be terrifying her more. But deep down, I think she still cares about you. She even told me as much. What if she didn't really mean it? She does that often. I don't think so. I think she was serious. I've been dating her for half a year now. I can tell when she's not being genuine. When I talked to her about you, though, she said that she still cared about you, but she doesn't want to change her current lifestyle. That seems like the odd time to lie. I think she would have said something like, It doesn't matter if I care about him, or I'm fine with the way I am now. She didn't want to be fully honest, or something like that. It will be strange for her to go out of her way to lie in the first place. My point is, I think we should at least try. We could get you an Atsuki counselor. I'll be there the whole way to help you when needed. If you really want to, you could try to turn yourself in another in at another point. But for now, at least try to re to connect again with Atsuki with my help. He thinks for a while. It talks. This talk has been lasting so long, I wouldn't be surprised for a midnight at this point. Then he realizes his head gives him the answer. Everything we talked about, all the anxiety, fear, and sadness, were gone through all that leading up to this. Sure. I got nothing to lose at this point anyways. Let's try it then. I want both me and my daughter to be able to get our lives back. Alright. I'll try setting up an appointment with the counselor for you two. I thought I'd check on Natsuki, of course. Can you even do that? In hindsight, I'll probably not simple to register someone with counseling like that. I can get it started on it, if you say so. Should I come back tomorrow so we can talk again? That sounds like a good idea, yeah. Natsuki dad walks over the front door, walks out, and slowly shuts it. I think I caught a smile on his face when he was going out. I couldn't tell for sure. So let me hear the door to my room creak. He's gone, Natsuki. She walks out of the living room and takes a deep breath. Okay. I have a question for you, Natsuki. Would you be interested in going to family counseling? I expected her to take a while to think about it, but she responds immediately. Yes. Really? You seemed against the idea of a change before. So I may or may not have heard the whole conversation with you. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. You'll be a good car salesman, sell salesman, honestly. Oh. Is it true? I never decided on a dream jar anyway. You're up for it then? I can't keep I can't keep running forever. I've been thinking about it for a long time, honestly. I did say I still cared for him. To clarify, you're absolutely sure you want to do this. Like, it'll be okay if I try setting up an appointment? You're still going to be here to help, right? 
You're my girlfriend, so of course I'm going to do all I can. Good. I'm being casual about this and all, but I'm still scared, you know. It's thanks to you I could take this step forward. I'm going to do this because I trust you this much. Because you haven't broken that. So thanks. Nosuke gives me a peck on the cheek and heads back to her room. She'll probably get to bed soon. Uh, it's amazing how much Nasuki has grown. I don't think she'll have agreed. I don't think she'll have to agree that easily if I offered the choice half a year ago. What a ride this has been! Is it over? To think we're finally going to, to get some closure on how this feels unbelievably satisfying. Now it's only a matter of how tomorrow goes. Here it is. The day where I experienced the moment of truth. As I eat breakfast, I hear a knock on the door. Natsuki's dad isn't here already, is he? I'll get it. I open the front door and it turns out it was him after all, filled with exhaustion. Sorry for coming so early. I had trouble sleeping. That's fine. I motion for him to sit on the couch and look over and see Natsuki turn her head away at the breakfast table. Which is fine, she doesn't need to talk to him right now, but I, I still want her to feel comfortable. So I talk to Nasuki and I'm turning my I'm turning myself in. That's not what I thought this conversation was supposed to go. What why? I filled my room with too much guilt. Nothing can change that. What? Well we're so close to patch things up. Don't you want to connect with your daughter again? I do, but I messed up too many times now. I made a decision, and I'm turning myself in. I'm sorry to say that your attempts to convince me otherwise likely won't affect me. Oh, it's not supposed to be like this. Come on, at least give it this a chance. Sorry, but I made up my mind. Are you sure you don't want to throw this all? Are you sure you want to throw all this away? You're so, you're so close to making this right. As I said, this changes nothing. Why does it have to be like this? I don't want things to be to ever be the same if it quits now. There's nothing I could do either. Wait. If Richard wants if what Richard says won't change your mind, maybe when I say will Masugi? Sin so gets up and sits down to her, next to her dad. Is he really about to say what I think she's going to? This is hard for me too, after everything you did to me. After you neglected me for so long. After you hit me. After, actu after actually, it would be here a while if I gave him a full list. <laughs> so I get the point. You're a terrible parent. Sorry if that hurts your feelings, but it's kind of true. But you're still my dad, you know. You still made some good memories over the years. Maybe not as many as most families, but those memories aren't important to me. I think it'll be a long time before I can trust you again, but I want to at least try. It's not entirely sure why. Maybe Richard has rubbed off on me more than I thought. Hey, wait, what does that mean? Natsuki, you, you've changed. It's hard for me to judge. It's been so long since I talked to you, but I guess that doesn't matter right now. Maybe you aren't willing to reconnect with me, but I want to reconnect with you. I feel awful if I felt like I missed a huge opportunity. Nasuki's dad is shocked. Nothing else is nothing else, just shocked. Nasuki turns towards me. I have something to thank for that. I have someone to thank for that. Someone who actually supports me. That's a different story. Suki so still feels and seems annoyed, which is understandable, but I'm just proud that she's doing this right now. Please don't turn yourself in. I want to at least try to get things back to normal. Please. Suki Dad thinks it over, as we all anxiously wait for his answer. Years in conflict, years of ups and downs, years of mistakes, years of decisions, years of emotion are all coming together. All for one. Of the biggest decisions in their lives. That's dead. Fair enough. 
We're starting family counseling then, are we? He did it. I'm not sure down to the last second, but he did it. That's the plan. None of us knew what he was going to say after that. We're all relieved that nothing came to the mind. And so begins a journey towards recovery. It's been a few months since Atsuki and her dad had first started attending counseling. It hasn't been totally easy, but we've been managing, especially thanks to me being there to act as a pillar for the two. She doesn't fully trust them, of course, but we are slowly making progress. Her dad has has been a lot happier lately, too. He started job hunting, which is already a great sign. I was somewhat sure this would be the best way for things to go, but I think it is for now. Morning, Richard. So he gives me a hug and leaves the room to make breakfast. It's nice to see her showing her sweeter side all the time. As cute as her previous personality may have been, the words for that was to sunder. Oh, to sunder, sunder, right? I forgot. How do you pronounce that shit? To sunder, to sunder, to sunder, right? Doesn't matter. I like the new Nasuki better than the old one. Hey, hey, I like any Nasuki. I noticed that she's she left behind a poem right next to me. Let's see what it says. What feels right? Oh, a poem! A poem! What feels right? There's a voice inside everyone's mind. It helps make decisions of a special kind. What good it does do up there in your head. It helps you decide what's right. Some things, things, sometimes things go far from bad to worse. It's your life is like a poem that's missing a verse. You're stuck at a tough choice with nowhere else to go. You gotta pick what's right. Nobody's always right, no matter how smart. Knowing what's right also comes from the heart. What seems right to you might be wrong to others. And that's fine, as long as it's right for you. What if nothing feels right? Sometimes you might feel that way late at night. Yep. But you don't have to search hard to figure it out, because eventually you'll know what's right to you. At least, I know what feels right. I care about what feels right to me. And that's all that matters. Good. This is what I was hoping for. I made my decision on what felt right. And I believe it led me to the correct path. As I get up, I hear a knock on the front door. Go over to get open it. Oh hey! Hello, I just came to check up on you two. I see, you're doing great. Would you like a seat? Just sit over next like your dad is sitting next on, sit on the couch. I dislike bringing this stuff up, but you two seem pretty happy and it's okay to- What in the hell went black again? I dislike bringing this stuff up, but you two seem pretty happy and Asuki doesn't want to move in with me again. Is that correct? Well, she does trust me more. Yes, and I doubt it's going to reach a point where she trusts me more than she trusts you. He has a good point. I turn over to Natsuki, who's making a full breakfast meal. Well, Natsuki? Natsuki responds as she cooks. I have to think about it. I could try... I could try maybe. Hmm. What? You don't want me to stay here? Well, maybe she didn't have her sweet side out all the time. It doesn't have to be a permanent thing. If we get far enough into our relationship, then maybe we could, you know, then you'll be able to move back here. That's not a bad idea. Better not keep you waiting. From that point forward, I see you tried visiting her dad more often. She hadn't slept there overnight yet, but it was nice to see that she was spending more time with him. More time passes. How many times has the season changed? I have lost count. You sure you're ready for this, Natsuki? I'm ready to stay overnight at my dad's, yeah. Man, this means you're gonna move out eventually. I'll miss you. You already know what I'm, I'm going to keep visiting you. You know, it feels kind of weird. Like you said before, 
if we ever got married, we wouldn't have worried about that anymore, would we? Wait, what? Like you said before, if we ever got married, we wouldn't have to wor worry about that anymore, would we? That's true. Anyway, enough about that. I'll see you tomorrow, Richard. And then I was alone. And would be for the rest of the night. Every day since I first nat nat met Natsuki, it's been an incredible journey for me. I remember being worried if we both liked each other. Despite that, it was obvious we did. I remember being worried about how I could confess when there was nothing to worry about in the first place. Then Asuki started living with me. That's pretty neat, if you ask me. The circumstances surrounding it were a bit weird, yeah, but it was fun. Then we started dating, it got even better. I had no idea I was capable of holding a relation as long as I'd have, let alone holding a relation at all. I certainly didn't think I'll be helping Natsuki and her dad like this, but here we are now. Remember all those times I said things were going to be great, and everything is shining and so bright right now, and all that stuff, but things became sadder. Even though I can say with confidence I am glad how things are going, I can truly say that nothing will bring me down. I don't think anything could bring me down either. I've gone through this so much after all, I feel like I can tackle anything. I guess this is it, then. Seems like a good place to say that I'm at the end of this journey. It's been a lot of fun. No, we can't end here. Before I know, it's been two hours and I sit and read some manga on the living room couch. Hear a sound at the front door and see none other than my girlfriend. What's up? I got bored. Kind of expected this, honestly. <laughs> ah, so uh, you know those cupcakes I promised you over a year ago? It's been a year, so it's been six more months. I'm kind of late with this, but we have to make them someday, don't we? So how about now? Sure, why not? I love you, Natsuki. I love you too, Richard. Thank you for everything. No. Oh shit, Monica's here. Hmm? What, you want me to comment on what you've done? Here's some sort of congratulations. Maybe at a mission you succeeded on making someone in the club literature, literature club happy. I still only it's still only one of them. Besides, it won't last. You and I are well aware that this is only a mod. Besides, what else is there to say? You saved Natsuki, didn't you? She recovering. She's recovering towards that normal home life. And you two admitted your love for each other time and time again. Though maybe you felt something was lacking. <laughs> Did you think you were going to get into a fight? Sever some justice of your own hands? Well, that's just too bad. If you're looking for one. I don't think Natsuki would have appreciated it though. Is there anything more than me to say though? You still got the others to go after, right? Or are you only here for Natsuki? That might be the case considering you haven't even gone after the others. That's not that that really matters in the end. Don't let this keep you from being happy. Do what you want. Whoa, what's wrong with the background? Alright guys. Um That's Natsuki. We saved her. It's over. I kinda the ending was nice. Like the ending was nice enough. I didn't turn in her dad. I wanted to see if the dad could do something. And Natsuki slowly but surely gonna probably end up living with their dad. Again. And Richie's gonna be by himself. But they're still together. 
But she did, she did say if we do get married, then we can move in together. So, I guess the only way we get that Suki to freaking be with us in the area. Should I go for the others? And if so, who's next? Leave the comments in the description. Or actually, I'm gonna put a poll up. Alright guys, love you all. See you in the next one. Bye.